Hello, I'm Emily. I'm the curator here at the Palashik Museum. And today we're talking about staff picks. So we have asked all of our staff members to pick their favorite piece in the collection. It doesn't have to be by Alvin and it doesn't have to be on display. So I chose my personal favorite out of everything we have is this bust of Francis D. Millet. So Frank, as he was often known by his friends, was an American artist, a very accomplished American artist, who met Albin Palaszczuk when Albin was at the American Academy in Rome for his Prix de Rome scholarship. At the time, Millet was the head of the academy. He had just been promoted. And um, other students had asked him to pose for their artwork, and he always very kindly said no. So Albin asked him, fully expecting him to uh, decline, but he said yes. So after several sittings, Albin modeled a bust of Frank while they spoke, while he was doing meetings, and this is the end result. When it was finished, Millet told Palaszczuk that it would do good things for him. Well, a few months later, in 1912, that same year, those words rang true. On April 15th, 1912, Millet died in the sinking of the Titanic. His body was recovered with, by the Mackay Bennett, which was one of the mortuary ships that was sent out. And Palaszczuk was commissioned to do nine copies of this bust after the artist's death. So the words rang true. It did great things for Albin. And this is my favorite piece because I've been studying Titanic and her passengers since I was 13 years old. So when I found out, when I started here, that Albin had this connection to the wreckage and some of her passengers, I was absolutely thrilled, as horrible as that sounds. Um, so this is my favorite piece. And thanks for watching and keep an eye out on our Facebook and Instagram. We'll keep doing these for you.